I like to say that I am the Blanche Dubois of American politics. Uh, I get along on the kindness of strangers. We're elected to represent the District of Columbia in the United States Senate. To that end, our primary goal is to advance statehood, equality, fill in whenever there's a need of representation that isn't being provided. 80% of the people in America think we should have the same rights that everybody else has, but 79% of them thought we already did, and that's our problem. Uh, we've made trips to uh, Iowa and uh, other places to uh, get our message out there, and it's gratifying to hear your fellow Americans uh, say that they agree with you, that you deserve the same rights that they have and want to try and get involved. It's so basic to me that the country was founded on the principle that you can't tax people and then not give them input into their government. The District of Columbia uh, is overwhelmingly democratic. We, we have more democratic voters per capita in the district than any other place in America. So that's why the Republicans stand against us, because they don't want to see two Democratic senators in perpetuity. Well, I think the ones that bother you are the really close votes, you know, where it's 51-49 uh, and you know the two votes from D.C. might have taken it in another direction. Some people feel that it was the Constitution that said that D.C. shouldn't be represented in Congress, but that's actually wrong. In fact, from 1790 to 1801, the district was represented in Congress. With residents of D.C. living in either the Maryland or Virginia portion, voting for their specific representative, it was Congress in 1801 by something called the Organic Act, which took away D.C.'s right to be represented.